Okay, so I, I haven't touched on this, but I just wanted to tell all of you that um, whether you are currently studying violin or not, um, or whatever else, um, whatever other subject you're pursuing, I really recommend that you try not to limit yourself to that field. Um, just don't be a one-trick pony. Try to be well-versed, well-rounded. Uh, try to be an autodidact, you know, someone who teaches himself or herself to do, uh, to do stuff. And there's just a lot of information out there, um, even on YouTube, for sure. So, you know, watch a lot of videos, um, like educational stuff, uh, documentaries, uh, try to learn about investing, um, you know, earning money. Um, and if you can, go to museums or, you know, art museums and um, try to gain experience um, a lot of um, knowledge about different uh, topics, fields, etc. Uh, you just don't want to be someone who, who's, who's provincial um, in terms of outlook, um, perspective, uh, etc. You want to be as knowledgeable and um, well-versed in things as possible because I would argue that that actually has influence on how you uh, view, approach any score and um, your ability to interpret music uh, well. So, um, I mean, of course, I can't prove to you that um, having worldly experiences necessarily uh, makes you a better musician and whatnot. But I, I'd actually recommend um, learning a lot of stuff, uh, reading a lot, um, history books, uh, and so on and so forth. Just, um, and, and also this is kind of practical because if you think about it, there's no guarantee that you will always be a musician. You might end up doing something else, obviously. And uh, that's, you know, that's the kind of future nobody knows. So um, I'd actually recommend just getting, experiencing different aspects, uh, different sides of the world as a whole. And, um, uh, and yeah, so there, there you have it. Um, my advice to you, therefore, is just always try to learn new stuff um, as, as much as possible. Yeah. Well, uh, till next time.